Welcome back, you guys. We are so excited to welcome Brandy Lewis of Brandy's Bazaar Pottery Crochet Sewn Items. Brandy, it is so great to have you. Thank you so much for having me. It's great to be here. Yes. So you want to tell us, I mean, I am obsessed with this little <laughs> dinosaur right here, but I'm going to let you go ahead and explain Brandy's Bazaar and everything that you do. Yeah. So it all started, um, I started crocheting when I was like 12 or 13 years mm -hmm. old and stopped during high school because I got teased for it, um, it because Aww. it was an old lady thing to do. But well, then, we're laughing at you, at you now, now, girl. Yeah, yeah so. exactly. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> then I started all this during my undergrad because I was that girl in my classes where I'm busy crocheting mm -hmm. in class because I have to keep my hands busy while yeah. doing something. That's fair. And I mean, luckily all my professors I had, they were obviously very understanding, and but they saw like, I'm still, getting great grades on everything and even towards grad school I was doing the same thing wow. and but it was just doing crocheting just helped me relax yeah. but yeah. during my undergrad that's whenever I got into pottery and my professor um, his name is Professor Hughes he was absolutely phenomenal and had me just fall in love completely with the stuff so now wow. I have my own little home pottery studio wow. where my parents it's at they have a big four bay detached garage and they took one of the bays and added my kilns in it and all my pottery Aww. supplies my wheel everything and transformed it and then my mom uh, she helped teach me how to sew so now I do little pet bandanas as well so yeah. I'm like why not do a little business of yes. it and so but yeah I kind of just transitioned to it but now um I have kind of a stressful job I'm a geologist I work for a private oh my gosh what? <laughs> right I yeah I work for a private woman-owned engineering very firm cool. and yes. that's something you don't hear very often is a woman-owned engineering firm. yeah right that's out of Kansas City but all my work is here in southwest Missouri so if there's a fuel release or anything like that, I'm there to help make sure that the proper actions and regulations are followed to go ahead and get this cleaned up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But since it's so stressful, coming back home to crochet. I need <laughs> an outlet. Yeah, yeah an outlet. Absolutely. And I usually put on my 600 pound live or Fraser something or good. something. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Something yeah. good. Yeah, feel good. Yeah, Schitt's Creek, something and yes. just start crocheting. Yeah. So I'm curious, so you said it started with, you know, crocheting um, early on and then, you mm -hmm. know, keeping it up in college. How did we go from like just crocheting something while waiting in between class to then something like, like this? this? Yeah. It evolved into Oh, You're fine. No, <laughs> okay. it moves easy. You're it good. Moves. Yeah. It evolved into this just because it just started with me just making little items, mm -hmm. but then I was like, okay, well, let's go ahead and try bigger, bigger items. Yeah. Bigger, uh -huh. and then it just kind of morphed into this, and oh. then it definitely showed me like, okay, I can do anything I want. Yeah. So, but yeah, I, I just had so many just building up in my sure. room and yeah. in the garage. You're like, and I was like, all these? okay, let's see if other people happen to enjoy my work. Yeah. And, well, well, and what great gift ideas for the holidays. I know, yeah. and I'm sorry, you guys, my little nephew is obsessed with dinosaurs. Free. And this is a dinosaur, yeah. and I'm seriously, I'm now obsessed with it, but I think about, he always has his little stuffy in his hand. Oh. So like go to bed with this, or you know, something smaller, you know, how great this would be for a gift for little kids, yeah. you know, yeah. that might have anxiety or stress or just like to, like you yeah. have something in their hands at all yeah. times. Yeah, um, I have gifted like this little Bulbasaur, for instance, I have gifted it to people before, um, like my brother's wife, um, she wanted one for Christmas last year, so uh -huh. I went ahead and made that for her. She didn't know that he ordered it for oh, her. Right, but right. like last year at the time, yeah, I was taking commissions and making things, it just got so hectic. Yeah. Um, but yeah, definitely. But whenever I was at Cider Days, um, yeah, people were already starting to need a Christmas shop. And oh. so I ended up selling out of almost all of my, oh my crochet gosh. pieces because oh. people, they fell in love with it. Yeah, so. Brandy, we're almost out of time, yeah. but you have a couple craft shows coming up. Tell people yes. when those are and where they are. Yes, so my craft shows is um, December 8th and 15th. It'll be at the airport, okay. um, and it's from 9 a.m. until noon. Okay, all right. So, okay. Yes. Go out and visit Brandy's Bazaar. Check out her crochet. Check out her pottery. Yes. Brandy, so great to have you. Happy yeah. early Thanksgiving. Thanks Thank for coming on the show. Thank you for being Thank here. You. This stuff is so cool, you guys. <laughs>